Welcome to Share Talk, the only podcast where investors come first. We have Paul Johnson, who is the CEO of Power Metals Resources, with us today. It's a company that's focused on metal exploration and developments. Good day, Paul. How are you? Oh, good day. I'm fine. How are you doing? Not too bad, thanks. Uh, the first question, obviously, with the RNS that just came out, is what's going on in Botswana? Well, let me take you back a little bit to 2015 when I got a call in the Metal Tiger office and this opportunity in Botswana came up and I thought this looks interesting passed it around uh, had a few conversations and we decided to go for it and it was a collection of exploration licenses uh, and it was a partnership with MOD resources and at the time uh, in fact, when we did the deal and we announced it to market, people just came knocking on the door, some of our investors, and saying, you fools, you made all this money on keybone mining, you're investing it in Botswana, in the desert, what are you up to? Well, that asset is going through the process now after exploration and development of being sold for a very large amount of money by MOD Resources. Well, the company, of course, MOD has been sold. And uh, the opportunity that comes out of these early stage plays is tremendous. Uh, in Botswana, about 18 months ago, uh, the, the, I came across a company operating in Botswana called Kalahari Key Mineral Exploration, and I had a look at some of their information. It looked intriguing. They were raising some money privately, and, and I started to get involved. I got involved because I passed their information around, and I got the same kind of response from certain people about how this opportunity was uh, interesting, but, you know, in the middle of nowhere or whatever, it's Botswana, it wasn't fully understood. But the potential geologically looked interesting. The feedback I had technically was very good and decided to move ahead with it. So uh, Power Metal Resources took an 18.26% stake in this company. Uh, in the equity in the company, a bit like we did back in the day with MOD when I was with Metal Tiger. And on top of that, we uh, secured a right to earn into 40% of this company's single project, the Malopo Farms Complex, which is nickel copper PGM project in Botswana. Uh, we have that right to the end of this calendar year. And if we choose to exercise the earning to that 40%, we have to contribute half a million US dollars to expenditure in the period to the end of 2020. So quite a long runway period, as it were. Uh, what we've been doing, uh, or what they've been doing over the last uh, few months is, uh, first of all, helicopter airborne electromagnetic work, which identified 17 nice targets below the ground. Then... In uh, June and July, they went on the ground and did ground geophysics to narrow down that information uh, that they had from the airborne work into far more detailed work from ground geophysics. And the report from that uh, has just been received by us and is going to go uh, onto the Kalahari Key website uh, very shortly. Now, what they found from that ground geophysics is uh, basically there are six particularly attractive high profile targets that need to be drilled. And they've designed eight drill holes uh, around those models. So we, we, we know what the targets are. We can see them on the, uh, the colorful pictures, which is always good for a, for a boy from Manchester to have pictures. So rather than the words, because I understand pictures far better. The, the targets are very, very high profile, very interesting, very large, uh, hundreds of meters across and they're exactly the kind of thing that you want to have if you're uh, looking at this type of uh, drill campaign. Well, it's a bit of a history lesson there as well. Uh, so obviously the next question is going to be, what's, what's the next steps? Yeah, OK. So now we have the technical report. We obviously have to get around the table, look at it with advisors and we, with Kalahari Key themselves. Uh, we have to make a decision, really, essentially, which is do we like this enough to want to push ahead and to actually earn into that project and effectively support them? with the drill program that needs to be done because the half a million US dollars is dedicated to drilling. The interesting thing with Kalahari Key is that when we were doing the discussions and negotiations with them, we were thinking, you know, the team there maybe would need to have some compensation for their time and for the work that they're doing. 
No, they didn't want that. They wanted the money that was put into this project to be spent on the project itself uh, and not to be kind of frittered away in all sorts of corporate expenses. So when the team went down from uh, <clears throat> from London or uh, from the UK down to South Africa to look at the geophysics work, they uh, they all huddled together in economy because they didn't want to spend large amounts of money on airfares. They don't get paid for the work that they do. They're just focused on their shareholding because all the team there are shareholders too in that company, Kalahari Key, alongside Power Metal Resources. They really want to see this, uh, you know, become successful and they are totally driven. So <clears throat> we have a, a decision to make, but I can tell you it's getting easier because the information that flows out from this project, uh, and this is nickel sulfides we're talking about, the information that's flowing out is hugely interesting, intriguing, fascinating. We use whichever word you want. Uh, I've seen this before. I saw this in Botswana before. I saw a pre-drilling opportunity, just like we are now, where we thought this could be a massive winner. And we sat there with the same kind of thing again with uh, the uh, Malopo Farms Complex project. Uh, so I'm erring towards positivity, dare I say, but we've still got to go through the full technical review. We've got to do the preparatory work and make sure we're absolutely comfortable. Uh, Kalahari Key themselves, whilst we're looking at things technically, they have to push ahead with their environmental work because you need to get environmental surveys done before you can drill in Botswana. They're pushing ahead with a variety of other work around uh, you know, uh, the uh, the project and the opportunity. So there's some gravity survey work to do and uh, uh, a variety of other things as well. And then uh, in the not too distant future, hopefully we'll reach a point where we can make that decision. I can tell you, though, this is one of the most exciting projects I think I've been involved with. Uh, and I'm not a geologist. I'm an accountant. So I try my best. Uh, but we have good advisors around us and people that can give us help and assistance in this process. And this is looking interesting. Well, I mean, uh, certainly good results and certainly a nice RNS to read. Uh, I, I'm guessing it exceeded your expectations when you took this on. You know, not really, because I had a bit of a hunch. And that's often how these things, you know, uh, are found and these opportunities come around. Well, when we did the Botswana deal in Metal Tiger, as I say, internally, we were very excited about it. Externally, the shareholders, or some of them, and the investors generally were, in some one case, someone ran me up and laughed about the patheticness of our investment in that opportunity. Well, you know, you push on. At the moment, I've released today uh, through Power Metal Resources what would be in a normalized market, a stunning announcement that would drag people in. Uh, they would look at it and they get very excited about it. Now the market's a bit subdued at the moment. Doesn't matter. We push on. I think we've got a cracking opportunity. It's met the expectations. It probably had, in fairness, yes, it has exceeded the expectations. To be honest, so I have been quite excited about this for some time. If we find, in uh, if we push ahead with the drilling, put things in order. Sorry, we push ahead with the drilling, and we find a nickel sulfide discovery a major discovery, it is a game changer for the company. It is a game changer for our investors. Uh, it's where considerable amounts of money can be made. Some of the big nickel discoveries uh, that uh, uh, you know have happened, if you look at the Nova nickel discovery in, uh, in Australia, where you, you saw the share price of that company rise from five cents to five dollars in, I think, about eight months. I mean, these are just enormous kind of capital gains. And my view as a CEO of a business is, is not, I don't want to, you know, tinker with the thing and just hope that we find something modest and we can maybe produce a little bit of some gold or some, you know, nickel or some copper. I want to find another massive discovery. It's the only reason I'm here. And otherwise, why bother? Fair enough. And I'm guessing this uh, project is going to get uh, quite a bit of attention then compared to the other projects you've got in Africa. Well, we have a balanced approach. We've got, uh, we, we, we have an embarrassment of opportunity, to be honest. In uh, the DRC, we found a near seven kilometre copper anomaly. 
bit of a surprise, but a phenomenal result. Uh, you know, we're uh, in Cameroon, we found a geological environment similar to the nearby Inkamuna deposit with uh, uh, we actually found uh, vanadium anomalies in the work that we did, which was a bit of a surprise and something that we've got to look into a bit more when the rains cease and so on. Uh, we're working with Katoro over the uh, Hanetti Nickel project, which of itself is another monster. And as more information comes out about that, then people will start to engage on that as well. Uh, but today, I think for us, is, is uh, Botswana Day. And we're absolutely delighted with what we've got so far. It right, sounds like it's come again from the news that you announced. OK, Paul, thanks for uh, taking the time with us. And uh, we'll look forward to hearing what the decision is and uh, any further news. Uh, and you too. Thanks for your time. And we will be speaking again soon. I promise you that. I look forward to it. Thank you. Thank you for listening. Remember to visit our website for more news and other podcasts at www.share-talk.com.